Welcome to Lord Jesus Christ, Vegetarian, Our Savior, from the Gospel of Luke, Vegetarian, in the Holy Bible, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Jesus Christ, Prophet, Son of God, the Prince of Peace, Savior and Friend, He is known by many names. The birth in Bethlehem of this beloved spiritual master marks the beginning of the Western calendar. So important was his influence on humanity. Lord Jesus taught God's love and forgiveness to all people with open hearts. He is especially loved and remembered because of his sacrifice to cleanse the sins of his disciples and of the world. Three days after his crucifixion, he arose, as witnessed by some of his disciples. Today, we will open the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel, also known as the two-volume Book of Acts, depicts how Jesus, from his birth to his death and after, unfolded God's covenant and kingdom on earth. As he restored the lives of the poor, the sick, and the outcasts, he brought freedom and the eternal kingdom of God to those who had faith in him as the Chosen One, the Son of God. In this Gospel, Jesus predicts that his mission will be one of suffering, and through his compassionate service to all, he served as a loving example for his disciples to follow. Although the author of the Gospel is anonymous, it is commonly believed that it was Luke, the Evangelist, one of the 70 Apostles of Lord Jesus Christ. We will now read excerpts from chapters 6 and 7 from the Gospel of Luke in the Holy Bible, telling of the time when Lord Jesus selected 12 of his disciples, appointed them Apostles, and continued with his enlightening wisdom and teachings about the moral righteousness they should apply in life, while on his way to healing people in need. The Twelve Apostles One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray, and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them, whom he also designated apostles, Simon, who he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Blessings and Woes He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there, and a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem and from the coastal region around Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by impure spirits were cured, and the people all tried to touch him, because power was coming from him and healing them all. Looking at his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you, and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day, and leap for joy, because great is your reward in heaven, for that is how their ancestors treated the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when everyone speaks well of you, for that is how their ancestors treated the false prophets.
love for enemies. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because He is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Judging Others Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. He also told them this parable, Can the blind lead the blind? Will they not both fall into a pit? The student is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrite! First, take the plank out of your eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. A tree and its fruit No good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes, or grapes from briars. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. The Wise and Foolish Builders Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? As for everyone who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice, I will show you what they are like. They are like a man building a house, who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it, because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. The Faith of the Centurion When Jesus had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. There, a centurion's servant, whom his master valued highly, was sick and about to die. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him, This man deserves to have you do this, because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. Then the men who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well. Spiritual viewers, we appreciate your kind presence for today's words of wisdom. 